So good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. If you're new to the channel, so many of you are, welcome in. Thank you for being here. If you've been here for the last 10 years, thank you for sticking around. We love you, love you, love you. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. I've sort of battled with myself on whether or not I even wanted to bother addressing this situation. And technically, I, I don't have to, but I, I feel better if I do. I think it's important for us to talk things out. But I have one request. One. <laughs> one request. Please listen to the context of this video, um, or any video for that matter. I find myself saying this often. Um, I had to turn back on the car because it's stuffy in here. Um, it's cool outside, but stuffy in the car. Um, I find that people don't listen anymore which is really bothersome. I mean, I don't know if that's because we're in the TikTok one minute or less, um, get your point across or be done with you um, society now, probably so, but it appears that there are some people that have the attention span of a gnat and uh, that's truth for you. I'm going to tell you what I think uh, and what I've observed. Um, and if, if that's not your cup of tea, you don't have to hang around, but if you're going to, I do request that if you are an adult, which is what you should be with this audience, because that's what my goal is to speak to other adults and like minds and anybody we can talk to, I do request that you listen to the context of the video or any video by anybody before you, you know, fire off with your opinion, which may not be in line or actually probably might be in line with the content creator. You just didn't listen long enough to find out. So yesterday I made the video about stealing from the poor. Um, I knew that I would hit a nerve with some people. Now, again, the majority of you listened to the video, understood what was being said, had no problem with it. You told what you're seeing, which is what I asked for, because I only see so many food pantries or blessing boxes um, around here. So I want to know what you're seeing in your area, because I think donations are down for many reasons. Please refer back to the video. I'm not going to revisit all of that. I want to get to what I need to say here. Um, but there was a handful of you that did not listen. Um, I first want to say, and I'm, I'm going to sound uh, a little defensive coming out of the gate, but I just want to say I am going to ban and delete anybody that talks to anybody on my channel, be it me or anybody in the, co in the comment section, if you talk to somebody like they're a, a dirty old dish rag. I, I don't believe that's the way we're going to get ahead. And um, I, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm just not going to have that in my community. Okay. So it's not just about what you say or think of me. It's what you say to other people. And in that video, I requested in the beginning for people to basically be kind, non-judgmental, state the facts. What are you seeing? And the majority of you understood that. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being an adult. <laughs> Give me a hug. I know it's hard on some days right now, but it is what it is. Our grandparents had it worse, no matter what, what we think we're going through. They did. I mean, go back generations after generations and compare what we have the opportunity to have or do or be compared to what they had to do just to have what they had. Um, we've got it made, even in, in, with all that we face. We really do. You know this. Um, if you listen to the full video, I was just talking through what I'm seeing, uh, what I'm hearing, and what you guys are, what I've been told. Um, and I talked about the human experience in terms of we are human beings and it's easy for us to do this or do that. Then I absolutely at around minute 13, I believe somewhere around that, I absolutely tell you that you should continue to give. That if people are stealing from the pantries, blessing boxes and from poor people, that is on them. If you are convicted to give, okay, and you have the ability to help anybody, Number one, always help yourself because you're going to be helping your family and community around you, whether you believe you will or not. I'm, I'm promising you, you will at some point, whether it's today or in two years or five years. I hope it never happens. I hope everybody flourishes. But I honestly feel, because I, I express what I think and what I feel on my channel. I'm not somebody's puppet to appease what you want to hear. I'm telling you what I see, what I think, what I hear, what I feel. And I tell you that. And then I want to also have your input as well to know what your human experience is. But I, I don't want to get too much into the minutia, but it's really disappointing that people will not take the time 
to listen to the full context of something um, and then accuse somebody of things that they're actually not doing. Um, I've also been disturbed uh, by what um, some of you have been telling me. I kind of had an idea that this might be going on, but I have not seen it firsthand. So I really try to stay in my own lane. Now, what I mean by that, what I mean is staying in my own lane. I, I tell you this fairly often. I am not subscribed to any other homesteading or prepper channels. I do follow one particular farming channel in Canada. I think she's got great content. Um, I follow a lot of financial channels. Um, I follow a few music channels. Um, it's not that I don't support other homesteaders or preppers, but this is how I have found that I am able to stay in my own lane, which is where I need to be, which is where you need to be, which is where everybody should be. Um, it's I have the attitude of, if you don't like what other people might be doing or saying, then okay, um, don't get involved with it, right? You know, it's kind of like your parents telling you not to hang out with the uh, bullies and the rough kids because you know what they do. So if you don't want to be, you know, if you don't want to be involved in that and what they're doing or what they could be doing, then just do your own thing. I'm, I'm, I'm independent like that, okay? That's just the way I view it. I have found over the years that disconnecting from a lot of things um, helped me uh, mentally and emotionally, and it helped me stay focused on what I need to be doing as a homesteader, um, uh, taking care of my family, my farm, my husband, and the things that I need to do to be prepared for the coming days. Okay. So that's who I am. Um, but naturally you guys in the comment section or things might pop up, um, you know, you see things and several of you have been telling me in the comment section over the last 12 hours that there are other channels that are encouraging people capable people that have an income, have a YouTube channel. Um, they're not going to blessing boxes or um, pantries to collect food because they need it. Um, from what I understand, uh, you guys are telling me that they are literally, not only are they going and taking food from these places just to put in a prepper pantry. Um, and that they are encouraging you and telling you to do the same. I hope and pray that you are not taking that advice. There is a huge difference in someone that is struggling, especially if they're elderly, and especially if they have lost their job, or and double especially if they have children that is having a really tough time that needs help. That is the sole purpose of blessing boxes, food banks, food pantries, etc. I don't go and spend my own personal money uh, or any money that, I, that anybody sends to me, which I do not request, I do not ask for, but I do tell you that if somebody you know says, please use this money for the blessing box, that's exactly what I do. Nobody is giving that money so that Prepper Joe down the road, who has a full arsenal, a house, a cabin, and uh, maybe a bunker, I mean, I'm just making this up, you know, has, has, a, has all of these things, can go right back behind me and take everything that I've put in there. Um, I don't know of anybody doing that. Nobody like that would be in any near in my circle of friends, and I'll tell you why. But I hope and pray that you reconsider um, thinking about whether what these people, if, that, if this is true, if people are doing this, whether it's right or wrong, if you have to ask if that's right or wrong, uh, I'm going to request that you go to the local um, um, pick a thrift store or any store around and, and, and see if you can get a Bible and, and, and read that. Because um, I'm telling you right now, anybody that's willing to steal from the poor, they're going to steal from you next. Fact. So you all do what you need to do as individuals and follow what content you like. That's not my business. But I will say to you, you know, we can easily sit back and say, this is wrong or this is right or I don't agree with this or I can't believe these people do this or yada, 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 yada. And just say, you know, that's wrong. And then, you know, what, what, what can I do about it? Okay, well, I get that. I agree with you. You know, you can only do so much with things that you hear about. But 
at the same time, if a, if a situation, just like me with this video, I feel convicted personally to make this video because I think that I should, as, as a content creator and as an individual trying to um, show you skills and encourage you to, to learn skills and to prepare your home, um, I think that it's very, very important that we try to keep people on the right track and keep people safe. And individuals that steal do not have a moral compass. I'm sorry. If you are an individual that is going to prepper pan, or excuse me, going to pantries for the sole purpose of taking from people that have literally placed things there for the people in need when you're not in need and you are taking that food and placing it in your prepper pantry, you're stealing. You're a thief. You know, somebody said, WWJD. Well, Jesus would tell people first to not steal. Okay. People would, Jesus would tell you not to steal from anybody, rich or poor. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to sit here and act like that's not what's happening if that's what's going on. Just like yesterday in my video, I'm sorry. If you are an individual with an income and you can, and, you know, I, I saw this, a lot of you said this, and, and I don't know if you didn't think about it or if you didn't listen, I don't know. But some of you were like, how dare you, how dare anybody judge anybody living, talking about anybody living in a 60 or, or driving, excuse me, driving a 60 or $70,000 SUV. You don't know what they're going through. You are correct. And if you listened to the video, I tell you that in the end. I tell people, regardless of what you may think, to try to do their best to give where and how they can. I did not discourage people to stop giving. You just didn't make it that far in the video. Because you wanted to jump off the jump off the ship there with your own assumptions and be defensive and finger point. There's several things I can say to that, which some of you won't like, because I'm going to tell you what I think. You know, I went for several years in this family. We had one vehicle and it barely ran because we couldn't afford to put a new transmission in it. Even though we were debt free, we had a, you know, it was really tight there for a while for us. I never took food from the food pantries. Not that I'm telling you that you should or should not. You have to be your own judge, which use that word, of what you need to do for you and your family. Um, but I'm saying I understand what it's like to be in, in extremely tight spots. And people are, are much more there now than they were, say, five, definitely more so than five years ago, 10 years ago, I think. And you're telling me the same thing. But if you have a six, if you've got a vehicle, if you had, a, if you're having a tough time and you've got a six, 50, 60, $70,000 car, well, I hate to tell you this, but I think most financial advisors would actually say this. Why aren't you unloading it somewhere, selling it? You might take a little bit less than what you think it's worth or what it's valued for, but you might move it and then you can get maybe a $30,000 car and then you've got maybe twenty dollars or $30,000 to help you in your tight spot. Now, see, that's how my mind works. That may not be how your mind works. And I'm not telling you what to do because I'm not your mama or your financial advisor. But I am saying it's real easy for people to go, how dare you judge this person when they're, how do you know? We don't know. Like I said, I'm still telling you to give. And I'm telling people to not worry about judging people because God's going to judge them on his own. I don't need to judge you. I don't need to judge somebody. Judgment is coming. Days of reckon, the day of reckoning is coming and judgment is coming. I tell you that in that video yesterday. But what I find interesting is if you go through the comments, you will see a lot of people talking about what, which is that, what I was getting at is, I mean, if my, if my son was driving a $60,000, $70,000 car and his wife was getting her nails did, and she had some expensive, you know, maybe she had a couple coach purses um, and, and different and, all, and, 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 a, and an iPhone and they got in a tight spot. I'm going to tell you as a parent to my own grown children, as today is my oldest son's 24th birthday and he is married. I'm telling you that I would look at my own grown son and say, first of all, you need to go out there and get rid of that ride before you go and take food from anybody. You need to get yourself financially set 
first as best you can. You have to do the best, son, you have to do the best you can to set yourself up right before you start taking handouts from other people because there's a million and a million and a million more people worse off than you are. There are elderly people that are living alone right now that probably don't have more of an, in, of an income than $1,000 a month who have no help and nobody to help them. You need to be a responsible adult, son. Sell that vehicle. Sister, love you. Daughter-in-law, love you. I guess we need to be, uh, uh, might have to go all on natural. Yep. Uh, maybe we need to be ri getting rid of the phone. Maybe we need to downgrade some services. Maybe we need to get rid of some purses. I, I carry a $30 purse. Why you have a $1,000 purse? I don't know. Let let's talk about this. So you may not like me telling you how I would talk to my 24-year-old son, but that's exactly the truth in what James and I would do. I mean, I I'm just saying. Now, again, there are people that get in tight spots. We don't know where they're coming and going, what they're doing. Um, and this is what I'm saying. We, ha we may not have control of that. But my point is, is I'm hoping that, and I think it did, I think that what I said yesterday and what a lot of you are putting in the comment section, I think you're convicting some people. Because it's very obvious that people that are capable, um, it it's pretty obvious that some of them are going and just taking I don't know how people live with that. Um, I really don't. Um, like I said, judgment's coming and I can't control it. It's not going to stop me from giving because I know I'm doing what I need to do. Just like I told you in multiple videos, when I drive up to somewhere and I see somebody on the side of the road and they're begging for money, sometimes I give money because you know what? You don't know, and this is so simple, stupid for a lot of you, but I'm going I'm to tell you, and this is how, what I say. Like I tell my own children, you don't know if that's one of God's angels standing right there. Maybe that's a personal test to see what you're willing to do to help others. So I give. This isn't about me giving. This is just about we don't know. So in that video, I talked about the real human experience of people judging. I'm sorry to tell you if you think people trying to use their discernment in questioning what's going on with people. Um, I'm sorry if that offends you, but I don't completely disagree with that. Because like I said before, you don't know where people are, but if you see somebody consistently driving a fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar good looking car and they're dressed nice and they're doing a lot of things, well, you know, I don't want people to go without and I don't want people to be down in the dumps, but I do think that they can be more frugal. And I don't know, you know, like I said, I can't change the world, but I'm not going to hold back on my thoughts and what I think uh, you guys also think uh, here on my channel because it, it offends the few. We have to be looking out for our elderly. We have to be looking out for our veterans. We need to be looking out for our children. Actively knowing that somebody is doing something such as stealing, theft, lying. You know, like I said, no, in theory, you can't change the world. And this has been going on for thousands of years. But if you know some, if your son or if your neighbor, I mean, you know, I don't want you to get in a brawl with somebody. But at the same time, you know, you don't have to say, you know, you're a thief, don't you? Maybe they need some guidance. Like I said, I would be sitting my son down and saying, first of all, we're going to help you, son. But you have to help yourself first. And for the love of God, you follow whoever you want to follow. And you do what you ever you all need to do out there. Because it's going to be you that faces God one day, just as I face God. If I lose my temper today, or if I, you know, if I make a mistake and I sin like we are all sinners, I'm going to have to face judgment on that one day. You may not believe that. Can't make you believe it. Can't take, you know, I can, we can lead the horse to water, but we can't make it drink it. But I'm telling you my thoughts, which is you will be judged upon that one day. You, we will also be um, judged for falsely accusing people of things they didn't do and for things that they didn't say or for 
you know, you're accusing people of trying to make points that they're not making. So we should listen. And I need to listen. The, the things that I'm saying to you, I have to remind my own self of. No one is perfect in this game. But to close, if you are an individual stealing from blessing boxes, food pantries, and food banks, God, God bless you. Meaning, I hope you are blessed with a light today that shows you of your wrongdoings. We cannot support this type of activity. It's wrong. Being complicit is helping people do these things. If you have a food pantry, if you, if you run a, a place like that, maybe people need to look into different ways of making sure that the right people are getting the help. Some of you have um, put that in the comment section that you are now only assisting people in a certain community or within your church, or you have a, uh, a way of basically vetting these people. I, I don't have a problem with that because see, we are living, well, you could argue that we're living in end times and people have lost their way. People have always lost their way. We live in a world of sin, but it's amping up. So be careful who you follow. Be careful what you do. Be careful of who you are letting um, make impressions upon you. Because I will tell you for the, for, the, for the close of this video, anybody that is, will, that is capable and is still willing to go and take from the elderly, the homeless, from our veterans, and from babies, children, so that they can stuff things in their prepper pantry. And yet they can go do videos on this. And I don't know what their videos are on. I have no idea. I don't watch that stuff. I don't, I really don't. And, and if I had ever see anything like that, I'm not sure that I would handle it very well. Please do not participate in that activity for your own soul. Please don't do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Appreciate you being here. Please listen to the full context of videos before you comment. It's important. It's important that, uh, especially on main topics like this. I mean, you know, if I'm making chocolate chip cookies or showing a silly turkey or dancing with my husband, a one minute short, fun, cool, yeah. But these are real conversations because this is the world we're living in and this is affecting people. This is affecting people and how they can make it day to day. Food pantries and food banks and blessing boxes are there to provide assistance for people that need immediate true help to get them through that day or that week so that they don't starve, so that their children aren't neglected or abused, or better yet, that somebody doesn't end their life today. I would hate to know that I was taking food or clothing or anything from somebody who's literally on the edge of deciding whether they actually will be here today versus they won't tomorrow. And that is happening in this country and around the world. And it's going to get worse. So please pray about your decisions. Think about your decisions. Continue to give. Please continue to give in the best way that you know how and that you can. Don't stop. As I said yesterday, please don't stop because you never know who you're saving today. God will take care of the rest. Like, subscribe, and share. I love you. I'm closing it out. Got to go take care of Rip, my goats, and my farm. Everybody's doing great, and I appreciate you being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for putting your heart out there. Thank you for being a patriot of this country and helping those in need. Thank you for being one of God's warriors and not being afraid to speak about what is happening. And yet, and yet, you still give. That is what Jesus would do. I'll see you on the next video.